To say the UNOH women's golf team had a dominant regular season may be an understatement. The racers only dropped one round in conference play as they swept the field in the whack. I caught up with the golf team as they prepare for the national stage once again. Just a year ago, the racers claimed their first ever national championship berth by receiving an at-large bid. You don't ever want to leave it up to somebody else to choose. So if we go out and take care of business, um, we should be in that top spot. The hunger to head back to Florida powered the racers this season as UNOH captured their first ever conference title, which locked up an automatic berth. That was kind of our goal all year. And then when we came out and won all the fall jamborees for the conference and then came out and won the championship. It was just kind of that exclamation point for us to know that we definitely deserve to be where we're at and that we've all that hard work has really paid off for them. We're a lot more confident this year than we were last year from earning our way there and everything. And since we were at nationals last year, that's given us a bit of confidence too because we know what to expect when we go there. My freshman year, whenever I came in, it was kind of like, oh, you and OH. But now it's like, oh, UNOH, like they're they're the best team in the league. And so, I mean, that was kind of fueling us. Whenever I came in freshman year, we were ranked in the hundreds. And now going into nationals, we're ranked 11th. Now the racers believe their experience will pay off as the ladies prepare to improve on their middle of the pack finish from a year ago. I mean, once the cut happened, there was only 17 teams. So to finish 16th, it was, it was kind of a letdown. I thought we played decent the first two rounds. The third round got rained out. But the fourth round, we just didn't show up. We were very disappointed with how we finished. 16th wasn't what we really hoped for. So that's driving us towards practicing more and just really finishing better. We feel like we have five golfers that can step in and take care of business. Um, against other teams, we've actually beaten the number two ranked team already this year. So we're looking at a top five finish. Um, but we definitely feel we have a chance to win oh, this event. Day one of the NAIA National Tournament begins on Tuesday in Palm Beach Gardens, Florida. As for the pros, $7.7 .7 million up for grabs as they play in Dallas, Texas. Quite the rainy day, but the crews worked hard to get the course cleaned up and ready to go. We start on the first hole. You can't even see Brandon Grace as he's deep in a bunker, but that's not a problem. A graceful blind shot that finds the bottom of the cup. That's a good birdie to move to 11 under. On the fourth green, leader Aaron Wise drops in a birdie. The Oregon Duck playing well in the rain, building his lead. Then on 10, Wise to create some separation, drilling another birdie putt to go 23 under, and there was no catching him. Aaron Wise knocks in the par putt on 18 to win his first PGA tournament in his very young career. As we step off the links, we pick up our bats, highlights from the majors, and more right after this quick timeout. Welcome back. The high school baseball season has been nothing short of excitement. Saturday night in Coldwater, it was a slugfest between Minster and Crestview for the district title. Minster came away with a 14-13 victory over the Knights in walk-off fashion. Easier said than done, though. In the top of the seventh, the Wildcats allowed nine Crestview runs, falling into a 13-7 hole. Three of those runs came off of bases loaded walks, another three off of throwing errors. I can't honestly tell you what happened in the seventh inning, in the top of the seventh, when honestly we couldn't find his drag zone. They might have, they scored nine runs in the top of the seventh inning, and I think that two or three hits. Um, there was, what, 25 runs scored a day, and there was, what, 10 or 12 hits. Um, it was not pretty baseball at all. In the bottom half, Minster proved why they are the defending state champs. The Wildcats plated seven runs, including Jack Heitbrink's heroic walk off single to seal the victory. I wasn't looking for anything to like, crush. I knew that we had no outs, right? And bases loaded. Um, we needed two more runs to win it. I wasn't trying to crush anything. I was just trying to put the ball in play or get a walk, keep the team going. The resiliency, the, the want to, the is it experience of being here before? I don't know that you can count what happened today as experience. Somehow, some way, we got out of here today. The Wildcats will play Fort Loramie Thursday at 5 in Springfield in the regional semis. Big league ball. The Reds trying to even their series against the Cubs. Top of the first, Red Legs wasting no time. Scott Shebler delivers a single with the bases juice. Alex Bandino scores. The Reds go up 1-0. That's all the success they had. The Cubs go on to score six unanswered runs in this ball game. Middletown's finest leaving the yard there. The Reds fall 6-1. The Tigers also trying to even their series. Theirs is against the Mariners. Out of the gate, the Tigers are swinging, specifically 
John Hicks, who was drafted by the M's. With Nick Castellanos on first, Hicks blasts a two-run shot in the left field, giving the Tigers a 2-0 lead. Tigers pitching looking good early on as well. Francisco Lariano gets Ryan Healy reaching. In the fifth, Kyle Seegers golfing. Lariano with a no-hitter through six innings. It does get broken up in the seventh with no damage done. But in the ninth, the Tigers give up their first runs of the game. Mitch Hanninger takes Shane Green for a ride. The two-run homer ties the ball game at two apiece. This one does go into extras, and the Mariners come out on top. Gene Segura sending one down the line to allow D. Gordon to score. Tigers lose, lose three to two, and the Indians also fell to the Astros three to one. All right, thanks, John. We'll wrap things up after the break.